The late British actress was famous as one of the stars of the classic BBC comedy, Last of the Summer Wine. The world's longest-running sitcom will be honored tonight with Last of the Summer Wine, 30 Years of Laughs. Channel 5's special tribute show features contributions from members of the much-loved program's cast and crew. Never-before-seen interviews and behind-the-scenes archive footage tell the story of the iconic program. Filmed in the Yorkshire village of Holmfirth, Last of the Summer Wine ran for an incredible 37 years. The BBC announced in 2010 that it was going to axe the series, which was written by Roy Clark and produced and directed by Alan J. W. Bell. The comedy famously revolved around the trio of Composimonite, Norman Clegg, and originally Cyril Blameyer. Compo is enchanted by his next-door neighbor, Nora Batty, an archetypal northern battle axe, played by Kathy Staff. The actress, who died aged 80 in 2008, once opened up about playing the horrible character in a throwback interview. The holiday plot hole, Channel 5 viewers spot huge fail in Jill Hapeny series Kathy discussed Nora, who was famous for her wrinkled stockings and keeping her curlers in her hair, in an interview with the Manchester Evening News. She said, I don't think she could have been more horrible if she'd tried. Perhaps it's those wrinkled stockings and curlers that turn people on. Kathy, who played the character in 243 episodes, passed away after being diagnosed with a brain tumor. The actress' long TV career also included roles in other northern favorites. Coronation Street and Open All Hours. Although Kathy is known to many as Nora, the ever watchful woman from Yorkshire, she was actually born in Dukenfield, Greater Manchester. The actress attended the town St. Mark's Church where she was baptized and remained a member of the congregation. The Reverend Alison Cox the priest in charge of St. Mark's when Kathy died, gave a touching tribute to the late star. Quoted by the men, she said, her death will be greeted with much sadness. She was held in great affection by all the parishioners of St. Mark's and way beyond our church. Kathy was baptized in St. Mark's, got married here and was, with her husband John, a member of the choir. It was a no-brainer Peaky Blinders star speaks out on quitting BBC series, latest The Dropout Real Story, Elizabeth Holmes upset Professor by ignoring advice for Theranos, Insight Joe Exotic's furious outburst at Louis Theroux during tense exchange, fuck you. Analysis. We will miss her terribly. She was a very friendly and warm woman, faithful and generous. The whole nation will mourn her passing. By her work as an actress over the years she has brought so much pleasure to millions of people. Despite her illness, she was in church up until a month ago and despite being unsteady on her feet she went into the kitchen afterwards to help wash up after tea. Her last of the summer wine co-stars also paid tribute to their former colleague. Alan, the program's producer, said, she was such a good lady, she was religious, she would never do anyone any harm. But above all that, she was thoroughly professional. Last of the Summer Wine, 30 Years of Laughs airs on Channel 5 tonight from 8.30pm to 10pm.